Now, did humans live with dinosaurs? Continued. The next uh, question we're going to look at is, how old are the fossils? Now, aren't all of the fossils proven to be very old, as in millions of years old? Well, let's look at how the ages of fossils are measured. Fossil age is simply determined by the age of the layer of the rock, that is sedimentary rock, or the strata that it is found in. So how is the age of the strata or the age of the rock determined? Well, it's determined by the age of the fossils that are found in the rock. But aren't the ages of the rocks determined by the age of the fossils? Well, that's correct. And so it keeps on going around and around and around in a circle. This is known as circular reasoning. There is simply no accurate way to measure any fossil's age, unless, of course, it has carbon-14 in it, which we'll look at another time. But then it would be uh, much, much younger than the millions of years that we were told. So this means that no one could tell how old any fossil is. Now, rocks, and we're talking about igneous rocks here, not the sedimentary rocks that fossils are found in, uh, the igneous rocks, which are formed by heat, such as lava, uh, some of them have been measured to be hundreds of thousands up to billions of years old, and then are discovered to be just hundreds of years old, sometimes thousands. So the methods used to measure these rocks have been shown to be horrendously inaccurate by literally millions of percent. Well, let's look at another question. Was there a flood? Now, if we look at the geological column, it would appear that a huge flood would explain the mix-up of the layers and the mixing up of the fossils throughout the different layers much better than the slow process of evolution. A flood would leave a general order of heavier and less mobile creatures being on the lower layers along with, of course, the sea creatures, with the lighter and more mobile creatures higher up. Now, there are enormous amounts of evidence to support the idea that there actually was a worldwide flood in the past. Now, the best piece of evidence to support this idea is the vast amount of marine fossils that are in every continent in the world and in the very highest mountain ranges in the world. And some of these fossils uh, are actually found up miles high in the mountain. So the idea of a worldwide flood was well accepted until just a few decades ago. It appears that the evidence is causing a huge resurgence of this idea. But because of the nature of a gigantic flood, mixture would be somewhat common. And that is indeed the case. This mixture, that is fossils being in the wrong order, is very common. And of course in a flood situation you'd have all kinds of, of uh, mudslides and that type of thing which would cause there to be mixtures. In fact some of the layers are completely out of order, that is the younger below the older or vice versa. It now appears that the belief in a worldwide flood is backed up by science much better than what we have been told, and that the Earth is much younger than we have been told. If this is the case, then it would make sense that dinosaurs and humans have lived together up until just recently. Or maybe they still do in some cases. So. Rather than humans living with dinosaurs in ages past, is it possible that dinosaurs have lived with us in the very recent history? Well, let's take a look. If we take a look at history, we will discover numerous accounts of man dealing with dragons. Well, today these creatures are called dinosaurs. Both simply refer to large reptiles. 
Now, if we go back into historical accounts, such as the book of Job in the Old Testament, there is a perfect description of, of a brontosaurus-like creature. Accounts of knights killing dragons and very large beasts are not uncommon at all in the Middle Ages. There are even some pictures of these encounters drawn by artists. These artists' renditions of these beasts look like the dinosaurs that have been discovered recently. So the question arises, why have the dinosaurs disappeared if they have lived with humans up until the last few hundred years? Well, the answer is twofold. Number one, as previously mentioned, humans have killed many of them off. But number two, lungs of these creatures are generally very small. It has been shown by science that the atmospheric pressure was considerably higher in the past. The concentration of oxygen was also greater in the past. So as this change to the atmosphere that we have today, dinosaurs in general would have a much more difficult time getting the amount of air needed to live. And the estimates are approximately one third of the oxygen intake uh, that they had in the past. Well, does this mean that there are no dinosaurs left alive on Earth today? Well, not necessarily. This topic will be continued in the next video.